Um, what's the one song after all these years that still gets you excited to play a concert? Alcoholic. Why alcoholic? It's always been the showstopper. <laughs> It's always been the show stopping high energy song. Yeah. Alright. Um, Skanking to the beats been pretty good lately. Yes. Yes. Uh, what is the one thing that the band hasn't done yet that you would love to see happen someday? Become uh, financially well off. That's a fair, <laughs> that's definitely a fair thing to have. Become <laughs> <laughs> financially well off. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. I don't see why that shouldn't happen really. You know, shit. That's what we want. Um, as I was talking about earlier, um, that everybody on the forum is excited about this year, the prospects for everything going on <coughs> here. And over the last few years you've had, uh, you first had Still Stuck in Your Throat uh, come out. You had the cover of Sublime's Date Rape getting radio airplay. You have the live album, and as it brought up the documentary, as you more like brought up the uh, documentary Everyday Sunshine. How did the documentary come about, and uh, when can the fans and the public expect to see it? Well, the documentary came out a couple years ago when these guys named <coughs> Chris Metzler and Lev <coughs> wanted to uh, document the band. And uh, so they followed us around the States and then around Europe and then back in the States again. Yeah. And they, they they filmed it and they've been putting it together. That's about done, man. It's got some animated cartoonage <laughs> in there too. Yeah. You know. Very cool. Have you um you so you got the chance to see the cut of at least the one cut of the film or so then? Yeah, man. You, you're it's, pretty, it's pretty damn edgy. <laughs> oh ho. I'm looking forward to seeing this <laughs> thing. When I look at it. I say to myself, holy shit, this band of motherfuckers is pretty wild. You know what I'm saying? It's like they're keeping it together good enough and long enough to coexist like that together and keep the magic going. Yeah. <laughs> you know? That's all that matters. It's still going. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. There have also been various moments over the last couple of years where former members have joined the band on stage, uh, case in point, while it's helping you guys out with the tour and all right now. Yeah. Um, and also recently in the interview you mentioned something about the original lineup getting together to do like kind of a one-off gig this summer uh, in New York. Is, what can you say about that at the moment? And, um, it don't look like it's going to happen. Man. Oh, really? Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know if I want to ask why. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like it's going to happen, bro. Oh, I'm sorry. It's, it just don't seem like it. But I'll never say no. Yeah, it's just not I in the cards right it now. It just ain't gonna happen in, in the in the cards right now. Okay, you know? fair enough. You know. Any particular reason why or? There's too much other shit going on. Yeah. All right, that's a fair assessment. Uh, kind of well, touching upon that also. Um, late, it's, it's, since that's not in the cards right now, is there later on in at some point in time a possibility of like this massive like jam of past members? present members ever getting together to play together. Uh, is it is it hopes of like a jam where everybody gets together and play again? Yeah, like all of the current lineup, the past lineup, everything you in know, between. You know, I don't know, but it is definitely a possibility. Oh my god, that's awesome. It is definitely a possibility. Yeah. You I, know, who knows what could happen. Pretty much of like the Fishbone All Stars. Yeah. Oh my God. There's like so one big graph and now. I think that if you guys decide to pack it up or end it, that should be the way to go. A whole tour, oh, every member. Damn. That's like sell out every show. That's like it. <laughs> you decide like we're done with this. Like yeah. we're gonna bring out every <laughs> lineup. Oh yeah, my God. <laughs> Oh, One like, big old grand finale. Oh my end god, up. that would be like. How many tickets would sell on that right there? That'd be some crazy nuts right there. Yes. Shows sold out, like bodies flying all over the place. Oh my god. Oh my. Like, saw everything from like the earliest stuff, the demo that got signed to Sony, to like the new stuff, like just every member of the band. That would be uh, incredible. Hey, oh my god. 
Just imagine touring with that. Whoa! <laughs> All the drum kits you'd have to bring. Oh my god, yeah. Oh my god. Um, kind of going on this, so uh, what's next for the band uh, after the tour and promotion of this? New, any new songs, new album? Well, you said you're in the demo process right now. Yeah, maybe we can get into the studio and record some stuff for the new record. Okay. That's what I'm hoping. Okay. How, uh, how are the demos coming along now that you've recorded? What do they kind of sound uh, like? Or? You know, they, they sound pretty good, man. Some stuff is like funky, funky rock. <coughs> we got some ska stuff too. Yeah. All right. Some ska stuff we've been working on. Right. You know, we just got to, uh, like I say, get to the studio and then record it in there. Yeah. And that's what's gonna that's what's gonna make it pop. Very cool. Um, since also, let's like say you guys have been around for uh, quite a while, and you guys started off really young. And that's the thing, you guys are still really young when you think about it, because there are people who've been in the uh, industry for 37 years, and they're like, well, if they're 60s, 70s, whatever, you guys are still relatively young compared to a lot of people. Um, do you have any words for any younger artists starting out who wish to have your kind of longevity? Yeah, man, just stick in it and stick to what you do and try to be as smart as you can when it comes to the money. Yeah. You know? Try to be as smart as you can when it comes to the money. Yes. Um, uh, would you like to have a chance to plug the tour that you're currently on now on the live album? <coughs> you want me to plug the tour now? Yeah, you can plug the tour that you're on now. Well, make sure you go and see the Fishbone English Beat Outlaw Nation Tour coming to your town. Check out the website. What's the website? Fishbone.net. No, no, your website. Oh, my website. <laughs> uh, Hightoweronjones.blogspot.com. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> what I said. <laughs> what he said. And Fishbone.net and MoreMapRecords.com. M-O-O-R-E-M-A-P-P -P Records.com. Yes. Yeah. And uh, one last thing. Um, uh, you guys, much like Ramon's Velvet Underground Stooges, are like such a massively influential band, not just for like one particular particular genre, but for several genres. You've influenced countless bands who in turn have influenced countless bands and um, at the end of the day when it's all over and you're sitting like in in your rocking chair at the end of the day and everything, uh, when you reflect on everything that you've accomplished with the band and all that you've given to like people and the fans and everything, how would you like the band to be remembered? In the hearts and minds of all earthlings. In a positive manner. That sums it up. I couldn't have put it in better, really. That's in the hearts and minds and kidneys of all Earth. <laughs> I couldn't have said that any better. <laughs> oh, man. You know? well, well, then, thank you very much. It's been an honest pleasure. Thank you, dude. Yes. You're welcome. All right, thanks. <laughs>